This is a young beautiful girl and her name is Chantal. Now, Chantal got pregnant when she was only 15 years old. Her family threw her out the moment they realized that she was going to become a mother. She lives in this small old house now, which is also a rental. <laughs> Mm. The father of the baby vanished. Everyone she knew turned their back on her. She is now all alone with her baby. This young lady grew up with the dream of being a doctor, but this was shattered when this happened. In the very beginning, before all this happened, she was born in a normal and happy family. Mm. A few years after then, her mother and father got divorced. Her mother later got married to another man. Chantal and her mother moved to her stepfather's house. By then, she was only around nine years old. When she turned 15, she came to the city to visit one of their relatives and she was going to spend a few days there. Now, the house which she went to live in, there was a girl that was about her age. Both of them are cousins. A few days after they started living together, Chantal was asked by her cousin to come with her to visit a friend that lived in the neighborhood not very far from where they lived. Obviously, Chantal could not say no. She was not going to stay home alone. So she agreed and a few months after then, they were on the go. According to her story, she was still a virgin by then. When they got there, they found two boys waiting for them. One got close to her cousin and another obviously got close to Chantal. Mm. Slowly by slowly they started talking, having fun, laughing, and one thing led to another. After a few hours, they were already in bed and they had done the deed. After then, of course they went back home and the next morning, Chantal was on the bus back to the village where she lived. A few weeks after, she started feeling kind of sick and she talked to her mother about it. They had some medical tests carried out only to find out that the young girl Chantal was pregnant. She had just turned 15. This was a shock to everyone that heard about it and they hardly believed the medical results but they were absolutely true. Unfortunately, her parents, especially her stepfather, was not at all happy about this. Hmm. He threw her out of the house. He said that since she was going to become a mother, she was fully ready to start a family of her own. Chantal came back to the city to look for the boy that had made her pregnant. You see, this boy knew that Chantal was a minor and she was below 18 years of age. He knew that he was heading to prison for a very long time for what he had done. He decided to vanish. From the day they were together when she got pregnant, she has never seen or even heard from him again. She totally has no hope that she ever will. Chantal had to find a place to go and this is where she lives now. Though this house looks old, abandoned and very poor, it is actually a rental. She pays this house every month. Sometimes she fails to afford it. She has been kicked out very many times and a good Samaritan suddenly comes and pays her rent and that's how she gets back in. Today, the baby is one year and a few months old. The only way that they ever get food is when a neighbor or a passerby gives her a few coins to help her feed the baby. Chantal had a big dream of becoming a medical doctor but as soon as she got pregnant, she dropped out of school. That dream was shattered just like that. She really wants to go back to school but she cannot. 
She says that today she cannot afford school at all because no one is willing to hire her for any job since she is a minor and she is under 18 years of age. Besides that, even if she had a chance to go to school, she still does not have anyone to take care of the baby while she is gone. Chantal says that being a mother at this age is the most challenging situation that she has ever known. She lives in regret. She still wonders how something happened in less than 20 minutes and completely changed her life. She wishes that she could reverse time and undo what she did but it's too late now. There is nothing that she can do about it today. She advises all other girls out there watching to be so smart. She says that she was not smart enough to say no and this ruined her entire life forever and her future as well. She wants this to be an example to all the young ladies out there and she urges them to always choose to do the right thing. Chantal and her baby hardly get food, clothes, water and all other basic needs that a family might need. This makes their lives even more difficult and very hard. This is the reason why she keeps on begging and asking for help today. She asks everyone that is watching this to please help and provide her with food because she does not want to starve her baby to death. She needs a place to stay, clothes, another shot at education because she believes that she is still young and she can still chase her dreams. If you would like to help Chantal make her life better, please donate via the GoFundMe link that is in the description of this video and pinned in the topmost comment. Sometimes we always think that we are going through the worst and we think that we are facing the biggest problems in life until we listen to someone tell their story. Thank you for watching. My name is Prince. This is the Intax. Do not forget to subscribe.